What's up everybody? It's your boy G Money back at it again with another video on the G35. So before I even start this video, I thought I would uh you know just show my appreciation and gratitude to uh everybody who left their condolences um on a recent post that I did. If you didn't know uh what happened or what's going on, uh so pretty much I lost my uh my grandpa to the coronavirus. Kind of sucks cuz uh, just happened so quick. Not only that, but it was, you know, like two hours after my birthday. So, you know, kind of sucked. Um, still, still can't believe it happened, but, uh, you know, I'm not gonna, you know, be negative. I'm just gonna, you know, think about the positive, but I just thought I'd, you know, pretty much tell everybody thank you who, uh, you know, uh, sent their love out there in that post. But, um, so on today's video, uh, I've had an issue with the G35 that actually it's ever since I bought the car. Um, but I've really haven't, you know, addressed it or, you know, took any note of trying to, you know, fix it. Um, but pretty much, um, since I'm going to try to fix it, I have this right here to, you know, replace, uh, the trim. So anyways, um, yeah, I don't know if I'm gonna be able to fix it. If I do, well, then that's good. If not, no biggie. My car still drives. So, um, yeah, let's get the video started. All right. So pretty much the issue that I'm having is with the Tiptronic. So, as you can see, I have it in park. When I put it in drive and go to the manual mode, the car still stays in drive. So. Uh, my intention was to try to get this fixed, but because, um, I'm still going to be messing with this and have to, uh, take this off because there is like a little, uh, switch, magnetic switch back here that might not be making contact. Um, I'm, I'm going to replace this because as you can see, it has a lot of scratches. So the one that I got... So I pretty much got this shift bezel. As you can see, this um, this boot is black, but it's a lot, you know, cleaner than the one that I have right here. And then you know, as you can see, this one's more of like a a tan, a dark tan color. So I think the black is gonna match with my um, my Tomei uh, shift knob. But uh, yeah. I guess since um, I was going to take this off, I'm, I said I might as well just, you know, replace that. So, um, I got my little tool right here. I'm going to, you know, pop this open. Of course, I got to put it in uh, drive, put the car off. That way I can, you know, be able to maneuver it. So, I'm going to do that right now. And, um, you know, hopefully I can fix the issue. If not, you know, like I said, it's no biggie. Um, but that would be nice if I could do that. So, I'm going to do that right now. Okay, so I took off my shift knob. Okay. Get off like that. And then I'll have to, uh, because if it's just like this, you can see that there's one harness right there. So, pretty much that is this one right here. So, I'm going to take that off. Okay. And then for your shift lock, you're going to want to take off this one too. So, All right. so pretty much that's, uh, that's the old one. Could probably still use this little tray and all that because it's still closed. I know sometimes people have issues with this where it doesn't, you know, stay closed. So probably keep that because I had that issue with my other G35. But uh, so looking at it, there's supposed to be. Let me see. All right. So as you can see, as I zoom in, you got a switch right there. And you got a switch right there. So hopefully I'm hoping that 
that little metal plate is making the contact and uh you know it's doing what it's supposed to do so uh i'm gonna push down on it hopefully i hear a clicking noise all right that's good that's good let's try this one all right so that's a good sign i mean pretty much they're doing their job uh, i might just have to do a, a reset and uh if it works it works if it doesn't i mean as long as the car still drives you know that's good but once in a while you know you want to go into manual mode but um yeah so i'm gonna put this uh back on put the shift knob back on put it all back together and then uh yeah i'll do a little a reset and hopefully i get the uh, issue fixed okay so i got my harness right there connected and then right here i have the uh the one for the shift lock connected that so um let me see i'm gonna turn it on well not turn it on but you know do that let me see put it in drive okay drive all right looks like it's working there you go try again all right put it back in park cool uh maybe i just needed to mess with the wires or something i don't know but uh yeah i'm gonna put it all back together that's pretty cool and we'll see what happens so i'm gonna do that right now all right so as you can see i got everything put back together got this working properly got the car on let me see what happens okay and i'm in drive nope so it looks like I got to do a, a reset. No biggie. I mean, as long as uh, it still goes into drive, I mean, that's good. You got your neutral, you got your reverse, your park. That's all right. So pretty much I'm going to have to do a, you know, a hard uh, reset and uh, we'll see what happens. So hopefully I get this to work. If not, then, you know, I, I got a new trim piece that looks good with the black, black on black. So yeah, let me, uh, let me do that right now and see what happens. All right, so pretty much, I'm gonna put my key in, turn it on, open the door, turn it off, close it, put the key in, turn it on, open the door, turn it off, close it, turn it on, open the door, turn it off, Close it, turn it on, open your door, turn it off, and close it. And we'll just see what happens. Let's see. All right, it's working. Let me turn it on and see what happens. It's working. Uh, all right, let me set the camera up and uh, let's take it for a drive. The reason also why I wanted to, you know, have the manual mode is because uh, that way I can, you know, redline it a little more. <laughs> so as you saw everything was working so that's good not only that but I got a new shift bezel with a, you know a black boot to match the uh, shift knob so I mean it looks a lot cleaner now um, but yeah 
Um, that pretty much concludes this video, guys. Um, I do have some new content coming up. Uh, I'm really excited. I'm going to do some modifications to the car. And I'm going to do some things. So, um, you know, if this is your first time tuning into the channel, feel free to subscribe. If you like the merchandise, let me know. Um, I got some masks. I got um, I got a lot of other stuff. I'm trying to work on some air fresheners because I love the cherry smell. I'm trying to, you know, get some of that with the logo. But, you know, little by little. But, uh, yeah, if you enjoyed this video, put that thumbs up. And like always, uh, y'all have a great day. Stay safe out there. Wear y'all's mask. And, you know, y'all have a good day. And I'll see you on the next one. Peace.